Hi, everybody. I'm here this morning with Georgina Hallaby. Hi, Georgina. Hey, Carl. How are you? Very well, thank you. And welcome to the first episode of Holiday in the Mind. Georgina is a holistic executive life coach. And because we're talking together this morning in April, she, like everybody else here in Singapore, is in uh, lockdown. And uh, Georgie is with her husband and two daughters. Uh, Georgie has coaching clients across Asia, America, and Europe. And she's working with them to accelerate their career success in sync with their emotional and mental well-being. So, Georgina, how are you coping so far with, uh, with lockdown? I'm coping really well, actually, I think, she said modestly. Um, I'm using it as a, a time for reflection and stillness and resetting and really pushing myself beyond my own uh, comfort levels to see how I can be of, of service to my clients and use this as an opportunity to set some intentions as to how I want to be at the end of this lockdown process. Well, clearly it's a very significant time for all of us. It causes some kind of stress and there's a lot of talk around the mental well-being of everyone who's living under these conditions. So tell me a little bit about some of the, the key themes and how those themes have sort of become contextualized by the situation we're all facing. So whilst a lot of the themes that are coming up are work-related or business strategies, it's more often than not about the human experience. Um, the key one that's coming up for me is around self-care and their ability to manage their energy levels or the ability to set boundaries. Um, this feeling of helplessness or managing uncertainty, uh, this need for productivity for productivity's sake and overwhelm and feelings of isolation. The other area is really about helping them set perspectives. So how they can use this opportunity to evolve both within their businesses, but also within themselves as individuals and humans. And then it's about values alignment. So how can they navigate all the tough decisions that they're facing from a place of perspective and strength and integrity? Okay, thanks, Georgie. Um, one of the uh, key things at the moment, of course, is uh, restrictions on movement. And most of us are discouraged, depending on where you are in the world, from even going outside. So one of the very pragmatic aspects of that is not only can we go outside, but we certainly can't go on holiday. So when we talk about holiday in the mind, it gets me very intrigued. So perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what a holiday in the mind is and talk about what some of the benefits might be. Right. So everyone's on lockdown. Nobody can travel. But this is reframing that and saying, actually, you can travel at any time. All it takes is a couple of breaths and uh, your mind is the most amazing imaginative landscape. Everyone will have glimpsed this when they daydream and suddenly you come to and you've got all of the sensations and the emotions and the feeling of whatever it is that you're experiencing in your mind. So it's that ability to time and space travel just by giving yourself the mental space and the physical freedom to go in and travel absolutely anywhere. There's no queues, there's no customs, uh, you can just go. And particularly now, it's the time for stillness, reflection, reconnection and resetting. So within that freedom and that expansiveness is that ability to focus on things that will help us to bring back souvenirs, if you will, of insights or thoughts of strategies that will help us in everyday life, either helping us bring our best self to whatever we're facing right now, whether it's family or work or just comfort within our own skin, or it's helping us navigate the future that we want to be and how we want to bring ourselves into any future situation moving forward. Okay, thanks. That sounds great. Uh, later in the podcast, you will take us on that journey, take us on holiday, albeit without the cues and uh, without the without a lot of the hassle that normally comes with a holiday. So that's fantastic. So before we get to that, what can I expect from the audio? How do you help people go on this journey? How do you help take them on holiday? Basically, it's a series of guided meditations. It's more about that moment of breath where you're somewhere beautiful and reaching a level of connection and insight. To me, it's when I'm 22 years old and I'm standing on top of a mountain in Thailand and I'm looking over these amazing mountains that reach all the way out to the sea. And I made a promise to myself there and then that there is a huge wide world out there and there was always a wider perspective and that I would never let myself feel trapped. I would always remember this moment and that there is always somewhere else I can go to or, or a larger perspective or picture that I can reframe on. So in terms of um, what we're doing here, 
Uh, we'll be using breath work and visualizations to help you ground your body and mind into the moment. And um, we'll also be weaving in key themes that are relevant and helpful right now. So this could be navigating our own emotions and intentions and how we want to show up in the world, or it could be ways that might help us reconnect to where we are and, and cope in the moment. So um, what we'll need you to do is find a, a, a space where you can sit and, and be quiet and just give yourself this time to go inwards on this journey. And uh, don't operate any heavy machinery. Uh, it's not advisable to, to do it while you're driving if, if that's still much of an option right now. So just give yourself the time and space to switch off for 10 minutes. Okay, Georgia, you mentioned it there at the end about finding space and a, a situation to make this journey. I'm conscious that a lot of people, perhaps like yourself, trapped to some extent, shall we say, with children at home and other distractions. So what happens if somebody can't find that space they're looking for, which might be a bit of a challenge for some people at the moment? So I just say, do your best. Let, let all the sounds wash around you. That's, that's fine. There's a beautiful story that I heard in China about an emperor who created a competition to create a painting that was about peacefulness. And there were two finalists and one had this beautiful setting. It was serene. It was calm. It was quiet. And then another one was of a stork in the middle of a massive waterfall. And there's so much activity, sound and movement. And it's just protecting its child. And that was actually what won the competition because serenity and peace is found not separate to everything that's going on in our lives. It's that moment of breath within. So whatever comes to you, if there are kids, just let that noise come in, do what you need to, see to them, and then just come back in. This is where we're going to try and find our peace and our holiday. Okay. Thanks, Georgie. So now we're going to have it, right? Yep. Do you ever wonder why you get your best ideas when you're on holiday? Why you're able to think more clearly, be more resourceful, and how when you return, everything just seems to fall into place? That's because on a holiday, you relax. You move out from thinking with the back of your brain, the place where habit is stored and residual patterns of behavior you move away from fight or flight and living within your amygdala, constantly reactive, firefighting, responsive. And you're able to move to the front of your brain, which is where your prefrontal cortex is. This can only manage seven or eight things at a time. And it's where you're able to live consciously, to consciously focus with awareness on what it is that you want. You're able to think creatively, resourcefully, as a human with intention. So I invite you now to come take a holiday in your mind. Do this, it will give you the space within yourself, within your mind, so that you can bring your best self to whatever lies ahead, be it time with your family, be it work. Give yourself this space it's absolutely essential, now more than ever, that we're in lockdown, or we're having to spend more time at home. So I'd like you to find a place where you can relax, take a seat, or lie down if you like. Make sure that your spine is straight. And shut your eyes if you like. And I invite you to take a couple of deep, deep breaths. We're going to travel. There's going to be no airplanes, no customs, no queues. All you have to do is use your imagination and drop in. And I want you to imagine it's nighttime. You're on a beach, somewhere beautiful, somewhere you feel safe. And I want you to imagine yourself stretching out, lying down on the sand. And we're gonna focus our attention on our sensations here and now on this beautiful beach at nighttime in your mind. I want you, first of all, 
to feel the sand on your back and to feel the weight of your body as it compresses against the sand. And as you hear my voice, you feel your knots start to unwind. Your shoulders start to drop and your head feels heavy. It's cushioned by the sand. And you notice as it starts to sink deeper and deeper how the sand shifts to accommodate perfect support for your back and your neck. And as you breathe in, you feel the weight of your shoulders against the lovely cool sand. Call to attention the contact with your body and wherever it touches the sand below you. Ground yourself. Feel yourself gently sink into relaxation as your body gets heavier and heavier. I want you to focus the attention on the sounds. You can hear the waves crashing against the beach. What else can you hear? Are there birds? The occasional passerby? Can you hear the wind? Can you feel the wind as it gently traces over your body? Feel your senses come alive now as they make contact with this beautiful space around you. What can you smell? Can you smell the salty tang of the air? What can you taste? Turn your senses inward as you ground yourself in this beautiful space where you feel safe. And take a moment to acknowledge this gift that you're giving yourself of space and time just to be, just to enjoy, just to connect. And as you look up, you see the heavens above, full of stars. It's beautiful. And amongst that huge galaxy and space and universe that you see above you and around you, you get a sensation of how inconsequential all of your worries are that you've been hoarding between your shoulders and in your neck and in your jaw. And how in the face of this huge, amazing, spectacular universe, nothing seems to be that important anymore. You feel your worries just drop, just melt away. Ah, you breathe a deep breath and feel your shoulders relax more. You feel your jaw completely relaxed. And as you're looking up into the skies, you see a shooting star make its way across the dark velvet sky. And I want you to make a wish. And that wish is just for you wish is how you want to be, how you want to resonate with the values that are most important to you. Take a moment to set that as an intention. Make that wish and feel how your body responds. I want you to just check in 
Check in on your energy levels. Note how full your tanks are. If they're feeling depleted, take a moment to really anchor yourself on this beach and to fill up the energy, fill up your tanks, fill up that spaciousness and that expansion of yourself. Allow yourself to energize and absorb, feel the power rise within you as you're grounded and supported by the earth, by the energy of the sea, and constant waves, constant power. Feel your energy reserves rise. Notice how that feels within your body. And ask yourself what space and time you can give yourself to fill up your energy tanks as and when you need it. And feel safe and secure in the knowledge that at any time you can drop into this space you can create that holiday in your mind. You can go on vacation anywhere you want. Make the time. Take the space. Set the intention. And notice how your body responds. We're going to take three last breaths here. Connecting into this beautiful beach and the sand below you. Take three deep breaths. And whenever you're ready, wiggle your hands or your feet. Open your eyes and have a big stretch. Welcome back. Carl? Carl? Are you awake? Carl? 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 Yeah. Are you still Wake there? Up. Wake up! <laughs> okay. Really? Carl? That was lovely, Georgina. Thanks for that. We look forward to other trips in the future. So if someone wanted to uh, find out a little bit more about you, Georgina, or perhaps work with you in the future, where would they go to find that out? They can either go to my LinkedIn, Georgina Hallaby, or to my website, georginahallaby.com. Let me spell that for you. G-E-O-R-G-I-N-A-H-A-L-A-B-I.com. If you're also interested to subscribe to more Journeys in the Mind, you can come on holiday with Carl and I. We'd love to hear from you if you have any destinations or environments that you want to visit or any key themes or topics that you would like us to raise. If you're on social and there's a box to reply to below or a link, please click on that and do let us know. Thanks, Georgina. We look forward to more travels with you in the future soon. Thank you. Thanks, Carl. Bye.